All right, so let's talk about some internship do's and don'ts. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna talk about some mistakes that I made during my internship. Hopefully we can keep this video under 10 minutes. Let's jump straight into it. Uh, one of the first mistakes that I made was I wasn't familiar with like an agile development environment. I'd never worked at a startup before. So, um, you know, being in an agile environment, things were moving so fast. I almost always showed up to stand up unprepared. You want to come to stand up <laughs> with something to say about what you've been working on. You know, something to say about the last bit of progress that you've made. Um, you just want to come to stand up knowing what's going on and being able to clearly and concisely explain you know what you've done the progress that you've made uh i had a big issue with this which brings me to my second point which is that when you get an internship of course we're working but i wasn't using my spare time to get competency in our tech stack and the libraries that we were using uh, i was working two jobs at the time so as soon as my internship was over i pretty much had to go to work from six to ten and then i had to be back to sleep so that i could wake up the next day so i didn't have a lot of free time during the week days but i could have used my weekends to basically brush up on the tech and um that that is important because another thing that I kind of missed out on during my internship was keeping my eyes open. Right. There were like clear, um, obvious opportunities for me to bring more value to the team or to help us overcome some of our shortcomings. And um, I wasn't being like vigilant in identifying those things. So when you're at work, you know, if no one knows Python or if one person's only doing Python, it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to, you know, brush up on Python a little bit. Um, I studied like GraphQL, for example, like before I interviewed uh, for the internship and um, I should have kept studying. Right. When you start an internship or you start a job, it's no longer about doing code wars every day or, you know, practicing uh, some coding challenges or practicing data structures and algorithms. You should literally be continuously learning the stack that you're working in it's gonna help everyone um and finally my biggest failure <laughs> is it, it comes in in two parts right um i i became like a bit antisocial. like the longer the internship went on i was just shell-shocked by so many things i was shell-shocked by you know uh, working in a agile kind of like combine environment. I was shell shocked by like all the personalities that I was working with. Um, I was shell shocked because like I didn't have a lot of domain knowledge in the realm we were working in. So for example, we, we worked in cybersecurity and I didn't know a lot about cybersecurity. And um, I, I felt like I was constantly trying to catch up in these different ways throughout my internship, but I never asked for a lot of feedback. I never asked for advice. I would kind of like turtle up and just try to do the best that I could instead of like outwardly asking for help and, you know, trying to overcome like these basically these gaps in knowledge that I had, you know, as a part of the team. And it's super duper important to invest time in your coworkers as well. So, you know, I wasn't going out to lunch too often. Um, I kind of showed up to like these little team events that we would do, but I kind of, uh, and honestly, I don't know why it was, it was the beginning of quarantine. Um, so I was, I was just getting adjusted to being at home, like so often that, um, I was enjoying all of my free time and I didn't pour a lot of time back into the team. I wasn't showing up for, you know, uh, like happy hour or, you know, I would show up for like game night. I would selfishly show up for the things that I like doing. And then I would kind of push everything else aside and, you know, <laughs> work my other part-time job or pick up a shift or something. But you have to build a connection with the people that you work with, right? You have to know how to communicate with them. Um, you have to know their kind of like likes and dislike. You have to know, you know, whether they are, cool with pair programming or whether they sort of like to take a stab at things on their own and kind of come back and talk with you. So when you're an intern, just remember you're there to learn and um, you want to just take advantage of all the resources around you. You know what I mean? Ask for feedback. Uh, show up to stand up prepared at all times. Um, 
get engaged like and make sure that you find ways to stay engaged you know spend time with your team like outside of work you know an hour 30 minutes or two hours you know once a week it's not a it's not a big ask you know what i mean and um those are those are some of the mistakes that i made i'm gonna keep this video uh pretty short because i'm gonna kind of start backtracking and talking a little bit more about like how 2020 has been and you know kind of double back to my coding journey but yeah if you've had an internship, I'd love to hear um, some things that you feel like were mistakes. Let's share these things so that when, you know, you start your internship, you'll know exactly what to do. That is the goal here. I hope um, everyone has got some valuable tips out of this. Expect more content about this soon.